Okay, we will factor the quantity of A plus B, the quantity squared. Okay, so we will use factoring by a perfect square trinomial. So, squaring a binomial generates a perfect square trinomial. Or, a perfect square trinomial is a result of squaring or squaring a binomial. Okay, so first, we have to uh, square the first term of a binomial, si A. Square natin yan, so magiging A squared. Then, since uh, positive yan, sulat na natin positive. Okay, and then, kunin natin yung uh, twice the product of the first term and the second term. Twice the product of the first term and the second term. Si A, i-multiply natin kay B. Tapos yung twice niya. Okay? And then, plus, si uh, B, yung second term, i-square din natin yan. Okay? So, this is B squared. So, we will factor the quantity of A minus B, the quantity raised to the power of 2 or squared. Okay? Again, uh, this factoring is a factoring by uh, perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, uh, squaring a binomial generates a perfect square trinomial. Or, a perfect square trinomial is a result of squaring a binomial. So, okay? So, una... Uh, we have to square the first term of the first of, uh, first term of a binomial, which is in A. So, square natin si A. Yan. And then, since negative ito, sulat natin dito negative. And then, kunin natin yung uh, product ng first term at saka second term. Or, twice the product of the first term and the second term. So, twice the product of the first term and second term. Si A ang first term, si B ang second term. Okay? Then, plus, we have to square the second term, which is si B. So, ang magi si square natin si B, so magiging B squared. Okay? Okay, we will factor x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, this factoring is a uh, perfect square trinomial. Okay, so ang gagawin na natin dito, kunin natin yung uh, square root ng first term at saka square root ng second term. Okay, so that is equal to, so square root ng x squared, that is x. Then since positive yan, so plus the square root ng 36 is 6, then square natin. Okay, so squaring a binomial generates a perfect square trinomial. Okay, kung titignan natin ngayon, Kung i-square natin yung uh, first term, the result is x squared, di ba? x, tapos i-square natin, the result is x squared. Then, itong second term, paano magiging 12 yan? Kasi, this is a twice the product of the first and second term. So, yung product ng uh, x at saka x is 6x, di ba? Then, twice, kaya magiging 12. 6x, di ba? Then, twice the product of 6x that is equal to 12x. Yun sa middle term. Then, dito sa last term, si 36, paano magiging 36 yan? Kasi, 6 squared yan, square natin yan, so magiging 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, we will factor 4r squared minus 12, 12r plus 9. So, perfect square trinomial pa rin tayo. So, ang gagawin na natin dito, kunin natin yung square root ng 4r squared, that is 2r. Then, 6 negative yan, kopya natin yung negative, then uh, square root ng 9, that is 3. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9, then square natin yan. So, ito na yung factored form yan. Or, pwede mo i-or yan, kasi twice yan, di ba? Or uh, squared yan, so pwede mong i-double yan. 2r minus 3, at saka 2r minus 3. Okay? So, pili lang kayo dyan. The same result pa rin yan. Kasi itong first term, kapag i-square natin yan, the result is 4R squared. Then, itong middle term, si negative 12R, this is twice the product of the first and second term. So, twice the product of 2, 2R, 2R, and negative 3. So, that is, this is negative 6, di ba? Times 2, that is negative 12 R. Then, itong 3, ito si last term, negative 3 man yan, or 3 squared, so square natin yan, that is positive 9. Okay?